went to work in a delicatessen for dry sick to learn plenty to fresen. Why do we need to save the deli? Because thousands of Jewish delicatessens have disappeared from America's cities. Because homestyle Jewish cooking is fading from our taste buds. We need to save the deli for the sake of Krepla, Kishka, Kanishas, and Kugo. Why save the deli? Because we believe in the future of the Jewish delicatessen. I'm David Sachs. I wrote the book, Save the Deli. I love delis. You love delis. Together, we can save the deli. I'll take you behind the scenes of the delicatessen business, from the meat packer to the slicing machine. We'll fress on pastrami in Los Angeles, corned beef in Chicago, salami in New York, salt beef in London, and smoked meat in Montreal. We'll sit and talk with deli owners, matzo ball mavens, and rye philosophers, including Mel Brooks, Ruth Reichel, Mr. T, and Alan Dershowitz. So head on over to your favorite local Jewish delicatessen and start training. Because when Save the Deli hits bookstores on October 19th, you're going to start eating a lot more deli. Alright, describe it. I've forgotten the way it tastes. I really have forgotten how good it was. It's formulation of trial and error. <laughs> They wanted a baby, a girl for sure, or a boy chick, maybe. When Papi saw me, he said, Noise, watch this. She said, Call them oil, there's gonna be a brace, you load 16 tons of bob and pitcher. Kish, keep up, and this is really wonderful, wonderful. The piece, Kishki, you must have coir, just like a stain, it lays in your boy. Ich hab bit schwer, just like Cat Jörg, who gets a vacation, a nichtiger Tag. A finsterer Leben, I'm telling you boys, comes Pesach time, there's no bread in the hoys. You load 16 tons of lecker and tegel, Harry, Miss Lily, stuffed hazel and bagel. Genick zu schleppen, just like a fair.